Hey guys, today I am going to do a page in my Life Crafted album using the brand new Rose Avenue stamps from Kelly Stamps. Uh, when I saw these alphas, um, I thought they would be perfect for some sort of quote in a notebook of some sort. Um, I've decided to do it in my Life Crafted album. I, I thought they would be perfect because they're like an outline stamp and there's so many ways that you could fill in those alphas. Um, and what I thought I would end up doing is not what I do do. So uh, it just proves there are a lot of ways to use an alpha like this. They're super versatile. I had a bunch of all heart stuff sitting um, on my desk and I really really wanted to use it so um, I decided this was perfect for this sort of page. I've got just a tiny photo, it's just off my iPhone so it wasn't particularly good quality so it gives me the perfect excuse to print it rather small and make a little bit more of a feature of some of these pretty papers. Now I had already trimmed out a few different colors of sort of cardstock to go in my Life Crafted album. It does kind of make things a little bit easier if those pages are already ready to go. Um, I prefer doing like full pages in my Life Crafted album rather than the pocket pages. Um, so having these cards um, cut out and punched and ready to go makes things a lot quicker. Um, I couldn't decide which colors and which papers to use though. And so one little trick there I've got is I sort of lay it out and take a photo with my iPhone and then have a look through the photos and looking at it through that sort of different lens just helps me to decide which one I prefer looking at more than in real life on the desk like that so that was what I did I decided to go with black and this sort of peace sign um, pink paper it's one of my favorites um, and so for now that's that's my plan and I'm just gonna kind of push that off to the side because what I want to do is stamp out my quote now how I'm going to fill in these um, alphas is a little bit different to what I thought. I thought I was going to stamp them on a pattern paper and then maybe use some watercolors or some colored pencils to sort of color them in. Um, what I decided to do instead was to just stamp these alphas on a whole bunch of scraps from this collection, stamp each letter onto a different pattern paper. And when I say that, I mean there'll be more than one, um, one more than one litter of each pattern paper. Um, but just kind of randomly stamp them out, and then I'm gonna fussy cut them, and that gives me kind of an alpha to then use on my black cardstock background. So uh, choosing the black like I did, I definitely wasn't gonna be able to stamp pretty successfully straight onto the cardstock. So this is a really fun way um, to be able to make your own alphas that are then gonna stand out off the page. I'm definitely not going to make you watch all of this because it did take some time but I'm using some VersaFine ink and just stamping out each letter. I do have my quote written out on a piece of paper beside me just off camera you can't see it so I am trying, trying, you'll see what I mean in a minute, and I am trying to make sure I get all of the letters that I need to do this quote in and I am stamping them in order. But I did stop doing that and then just went through it, which probably wasn't the best bet. You can see I'm kind of using a combination of scissors and a knife and a cutting board just to trim really roughly around the out outline of the letters. And I am leaving a tiny bit of that pattern paper. I'm not trimming it right up to the stamped outline. I'm leaving a little border so that it does stand out off the page. So like I said, it did take me a little while. It was an exercise in patience, that's for sure. Um, one thing I was a tiny bit worried about is I hadn't actually planned out whether this entire quote cut out in letters like this was actually going to fit on the page. Um, so I did have my fingers crossed a little bit there. Um, and eventually, you see, you end up with this really satisfying pile of little letters. Um, and then I can go ahead and put them together in the actual quote. So at this point, I'm not being too precise. I wanted to make sure that I had all of the letters and then I put them in um, sort of an order so that the pattern papers that I've stamped on are kind of balanced and what I do work out um, as I'm putting all of these words together is that I have missed a couple of letters um, I'm not really sure how that happened I suspect that I did stamp them and then forget to trim them out and I've thrown them away in the scrap piece you can see here that's what I did um, I threw them away before I had cut them out so I just didn't have to re-stamp anything I did just have to um, trim these out and then shuffle them around a little bit I had an extra E and I was 
was missing an A uh, and I could see here when I've put the quote down onto the page um, not exactly where I need to put everything but I know that I need to start it further up the page than what I did. Now I'm going to adhere these letters and I'm just adhering them really roughly. I am using some liquid adhesive but I'm only putting that on a couple of places on the letter um, for the reason is that I'm then going to run this through my sewing machine. So I'm going to stitch down each word uh, and I don't want my sewing machine needle to get all gummed up with adhesive. So I'm really only using a little bit of adhesive sort of at the top and the bottom of each letter um, so that I can stitch through the middle and um, it won't get all gummy. Now the other thing I'm doing is specifically trying to make this look a little bit random, not too precise as far as where the words are going and whether they're lined up properly, nothing straight. Everything's a little bit more random um, than if I had tried to make it straight. We all know that if I had tried to make it straight, it wouldn't have looked straight anyway. So I figured embrace the messiness of it. It does kind of go with that sort of quote as well about just, you know, just stopping, taking some time, making some space and um, not trying to make everything quite so perfect all the time. So I didn't even let this glue dry a little bit. I just went straight over to the sewing machine, you can see here, and just stitched through each word individually. Um, I'm gonna trim off all of the little ends. I didn't really love that kind of messy look, so I'm trimming them all off front and back. Um, there were a lot of them. Sometimes I love leaving the little threads, especially with an open page like this in my notebook. I love that texture, but there were a lot of threads on this one, so I decided to trim them all off. Now I'm going to start working on the right hand page of this spread um, and I just, I wondered again about not making everything so straight. So I started off by um, working out whether I could tilt this sort of background paper and kind of make it look purposefully messy. Um, the perfectionist in me did not did not enjoy that so I went with straight. I've just stuck that straight down onto the cardstock background. Um, the paper size that I'm working on is five, like each side is five by eight and a quarter. So a six and a six by eight paper pad doesn't quite cover it. So you can see I've got a little uh, border of that black around all four sides. Now I'm just going to layer up a few pieces behind my photo and the back piece that I've used here, this kind of crafty looking paper, I adhered that by stitching that around three sides with the sewing machine uh, just so it gives me a tiny little pocket on the page and I'm going to use that pocket to add some journaling um, on a tag or I'm looking for a cut apart piece here and there was kind of a tag shaped one so I'm going to slip that in and I will do my journaling on there later on but it does give me a place to hide some actual journaling, hide some words without kind of overtaking the page. I have backed my photo with just a few little pieces. I'm really trying to use up the stuff that I've got so I'm using up some of those scrappy pieces that I've already cut out or stamped on today uh, and then I'm gonna do some embellishment with some of the few embellishments I have from this collection. So I've got the sticker book and I'm gonna make good use of that. It gives me a lovely flat page and although I don't need to worry too much about things being flat in this album, um, I do like to have some pages that aren't totally bulky. I play around a lot in here and because I've got that um, black paper on the left hand side it does make these sort of transparent stickers a little bit harder to work with. I played around with sticking one onto some just white cardstock to see whether I could um, use that as kind of an embellishment rather than a sticker but I actually didn't love the way that it sort of it stood out too much on that black side and kind of took away from the actual quote that I've done, which is what I want to be the main focus. So instead, um, I'm just going to use a few other little embellishments that aren't from this collection once I finish here. Um, you can see I've replaced the flowers with the stars because there is um, a pattern paper on the left hand side that I have used. Actually, there's a couple that have got stars. So stars are more of a theme. Um, then the flowers, although I decided after that that, well, my quote is talking about roses, so there's no reason that I couldn't add flowers as well. So stars and flowers becomes the theme. I'm going to add a few little puffy stickers just for kind of 
different texture just to give it a little bit of sort of dimension um, and then these are the other different embellishments that I pulled out that aren't actually from this collection so I've got some kind of little silver they're like they're bigger than enamel dots they're like really thick they're kind of domed so they're really fun to use especially in an album like this they definitely are a little bit too big for pocket pages I've also got some little uh, gemstone hearts and some silver sequins um, and I thought they all worked really nicely with the sort of theme and the collection even though they weren't actually part of all heart so that's what I'm using to sort of decorate the left hand side. I'm adding a few to the right just to tie it all together. And that is this page all done. I love these alphas, haven't stopped using them since I've grabbed them from Kelly Stamps. They are available for pre-order right now. Check out the description box down below because I do have a code for you for 10% off your order at Kelly Stamps. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.